Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I am Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Satisfactory. I hope to win your subscription today, or at least get a like by hitting the thumbs up button below. And if you're feeling especially generous, why not sub me a coffee at Kofi.com? Link is in the description. Now, where were we? Uh, we left it off last time. We completed all the um, basic training missions, the Tier Zero missions. Now we need to start looking at the Tier 1 missions. So the first Tier 1 mission we want really is this uh, base building. It requires 200 concrete, 100 iron plates and 100 iron bars. So let's select that so we get the requirements displayed up on the top left right hand side there. Alright, concrete. So really to start doing this we need to start automating some more. So I need to automate the start automating the concrete manufacturing which is easier than the copper or iron because it doesn't require a smelt and just goes straight into the constructor so have I got enough to build a mark one miner no I need 10 sheets and 10 concrete and I have neither I don't have enough of either so let's just make all the concrete we can Oh, so I have 10 concrete there, that's good. Uh, iron sheets. There we go, and then I'll need the miner that's actually sat on the deposit. So pick that up. Oop, pick that up, that one. And now I want to build my mark on miner. Um, I'll swing it this way for now. And then I will need a constructor and I'm short on cables for the constructor. Cables. I'm going to need more cables now because I need to wire this in. And all that wire into all the copper into wire, and then about half of that into cables. That should do us, and we will need some concrete. I'll just pick some limestone up when I pick the small little miner. That should be enough. Actually, you know what? I only ever use this, so let's just do four concrete, so let's just use that a lot. So, constructor. Let's build up there. Oh, I bet I don't have enough iron sheets to... Yeah, I'm played some short on. We have a hundred there. So let's build that. I need a power pole. I need to connect to the miner constructor. And I've now got to find do I have enough slots on there? Yes, I can. To there. And select the menu is concrete. Alright. I think it is in a twist. Next thing I want to build is a storage unit. Input facing this way purely because I'm running out of space for the other way. I'll put that there. Hopefully that's enough. Yeah, there we go. The storage unit doesn't require any power whatsoever and it will store loads. I think that stacks 100, maybe 200 actually with the concrete. Bit of time. 
So each one of these will be filled up. So there's loads in there. Um, that's that one going. Just make sure we've got enough fuel going in these. How are we doing? 56. 56. Yep, yeah, we're still going good on them. Before I set up the other iron mine, I want to set up the copper properly. So I will need to extend the power poles out this way. Let's see how far we can go. So if you want to extend the range of power poles, if you click a power pole, sorry, click a wire, and then pull it away, you can see it tries to create a power pole, but I'm missing copper wire. So I need to actually go and get some copper from the copper deposit. Let's cancel that. And pick that up. Because we want to use all of that. Right. Copper wire. I need copper ingots to begin with. Actually, hold on. I have a smelter doing that for me. Stick that in there, take those. Copper wire. How much cabling do I have? 13 cabling, so let's make a bit more cabling. And then just top up on our biomass. What I want to do is I actually want to deconstruct this smelter thinking about it. So F and then left click. When it goes orange like after you left click it'll deconstruct it. Um, I will set the smelter up over by the actual copper so it's enough travel very far. So as I was saying, extend the power, click on two to get my cabling from the hot bar and then drag out a pole. There's the maximum length you can have these. When you exceed that length, it will turn red. But I think I've had enough length yet to actually come all the way. There we go. So I can get all the way over here. So build mini, let's see, can I build the my miner? Yep. Stick it going that way. Uh, have I used all the bits of my smelter? More wire. Frustrating. Um, let's grab some of this stuff as I'm there. Here just to help clear it up a bit. And we'll need it for power. around this bit, or some here. Okay, come back and get some. Make some wire. Just convert the leaves. I wish those long legs would go away, they're so noisy. Um, okay, stick a hundred in there. And a hundred in there, that should keep us going for a while. You have a torch as well, by the way, if you press B, you have a torch. 
if when it gets dark, it doesn't actually get too dark in this game. I know some games get ridiculously dark, but this one's only not too bad. Just clear this out a bit. Right, smelter. green towards me so that means orange is towards the miner and I have to create my conveyor belt two to connect these both up and then I need to set the menu on this And I can actually dump some of the um, or I have already on me. So, so I think a previous video was saying how many um, units per minute you get from the various uh, nodes, resource nodes. I think this one's a normal, so it should be 60. And yeah, 60 per minute. So that's producing as much as both of those uh, iron nodes over there. Now, what would I like to do? For the time being, I think I'm going to try and see how much I've got. Okay. I'm going to try and extend. My. Conveyor. Over this way a bit. I want to build uh, two constructors here. I'm short on reinforced plates. I need some screws for the reinforced plates. There's a lot. There's one there, and the next one there. I can't actually do anything with the second one at the moment. Oh, okay. Because I um I need the. Um, splitter, conveyor splitter. But for now, I'm just going to run it straight into here. Actually, you know what? I don't need the second one. It's actually wire I need. So if I can just this deconstruct something now, and this one to create wire, and try and find a free power pole. Which could be challenging, in which case I'll have to build a pole. So here, remove that one, and then reconnect that to that. That to whichever one is connected over here, that one. And then like now I can run the power line to this. Sheets, find some mine sheets over here. And now we'll build a
and get it lined up. Bit finicky sometimes. There we go. Up to there. Storage unit. And I'm going to do the same over here for the iron sheets. Just create a quick storage unit. Except now I might have iron bars. Okay, so on the bars. Make sure I got it the right way around. Lined up. And connect them together. And that just leaves this last one here, which I will connect up shortly. Let me see what do I need again. 200. 200 concrete, how much concrete do we have? We have 119. That uh, takes 45 per minute to produce 15. And that's producing 30 per minute, so the, the bottleneck's actual output from this um, miner there. I can't do anything about that. And I can't adjust the power settings on this to match it at the moment. So you just gotta let that run. So what I might as well do is uh, build another portable miner. Take that. Mop our miner have facing this way. I will take both of these because I'm going to reuse them now. Smelter. Overload up our network, I believe. Yeah, if you look at the blue line, which is our max consumption, it's gone up over our grey line. And I don't believe I can actually build another. Oh, I have. I've got power. Okay, that's good. I've got a biomass burner. I can build a biomass burner, so I can build a third one. And this one's actually more efficient, and you get more power out of it. Okay, so that one you get 30 megawatts out of. These ones you only get 20 megawatts out of each. Okay, so I'm running again and I will build my. No, not smelt it. Constructor. Just off to the side for now. This is all a bit messy at the moment, but it will get tidied up. Like I say, I'm just doing this to get through the first few bits. And that needs to be set to copper ingot. And then this needs to be set to not copper ingot. Sign ingot. <laughs> and this needs to be set to Iron bar. But I mean, you can see how big these buildings are. You can see how you know the landscape eventually gets dominated by them. I'll just do that to get that storage into there. What I will do is I am. Um, I think it's this side. Have a look. Yeah, I will spread out way over here. Um, where it's a lot flatter and a bit more open. Oh, I see. Um, 
Let's see how close I can get before I get attacked. There is a slug, a power slug up there. You use them to create the power crystals I mentioned last time. Now they're normally quite well guarded. I can't see anything at the moment, but they're normally guarded by something. And you hear it whistled singing there. No, there's no way I can get up there at the moment. To get to it. No, oh, maybe, maybe. No, it's too far up to jump. That's a shame. Nothing I can build to get over there. Uh, I could. I've got the. No. No, this I can do about it at the moment. I'll get it later. So yeah, as you can see, it's quite a bit flatter over here. It's not too crowded, and there's loads of space to spread out in. And I'll start my concrete base probably up a bit as well. I even made it sort of come straight across from here. How are you doing? Okay, that will burn through the uh, biomass quicker. So let's just. as much biomass as we can. And stick it in there. Right, how are we doing with the concrete? Oh yeah, I forgot to take my way my um conveyor belt. 175, what have I got on me? Seven. Iron, look, it's copper, iron rods. Why aren't you producing any iron rods? Because you're not connected to the power network. Okay, that's that going. And steel sheets, we should probably have 100 here easy. Yeah. How many iron rods do I have on me? 64. take them I can quickly create the rest of the iron rods let's create a few more because you always need them okay um, iron plates I've got 200 on me I don't need to worry about them it's now just the cement we're waiting, waiting for Hundred and because I didn't create three how many is in there 196 plus what have got me that should be enough okay let us go and upgrade our first tier one oh, wrong one I want that one so there's our concrete there's our iron plates and there's our iron bars. And now we get a nice big red button. Bang. 
Let's run out here quickly. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Off it goes. It's really good, some of the animation on this. The, the thought that's gone into it. So, we've now unlocked... This one, so we can now build lookout towers, foundations, and walls. So we will need some more concrete. It does get used very quickly. Let's convert that. I can grab whatever's in the storage for the concrete. Now, where do I want to start? I usually start building... just out from my base, like this. And what you can do... Oh, I've only got five left. Yeah, I'll get some more concrete in a minute. I'll show you what you can do to increase the building. So here comes up. Um, I don't know what you would call it. Shuttle. Returning. So I'm going to kill the power for my base. No, no, no I'll not move that yet. I'll not. I'll wait. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. Fixit Freighter, that's what it is. So, I will set that to button 8. I will set the ramp to 9. So you've got various foundations here, 1 meter, 2 meter and 4 meter. Um, they all take the same amount of material, so it doesn't really matter which one you build. Um, and the same with the ramps, so I've got the ramps. Uh, the ramps are just steeper. There you go, that's a, that's a 4 meter ramp. And that's a 1 meter ramp. What I want is to build this way a bit and I don't think I've got enough to build another one there no I don't let's just go and grab some more concrete this is a bit slow at this point because you really need to get these foundations down to make a base easier to um, navigate around Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this. I thought the power's going to, to go down temporarily. I'm going to rebuild it. If you see it fits on this square perfectly, look at the shadow box. It actually sits perfectly on there. Let's connect it up. And then put the biomass back in and turn it on. So now we're going to start concreting the world. <laughs> Literally concreting the world. <laughs> now I don't know if there's any more. Whoops, okay, V and Wand. How close is any more? Well, there's some over that way, not too far away. Let's go and have a look. Because obviously, concrete is quite important. If we don't get attacked, does it get up to it? I have, can I have one of them hogs? Oh, there's two of them over there, see? 
and there's a special thing up there. I don't know if they've actually incorporated that in the game yet. There's like these orbs you can pick up. Um, I think they're part of the final game, or the release game, but currently they um, they don't really do anything. Pick them up, it tells you to pick them up when you get close to them. Yeah, they're coming this way, I'm going to get attacked. Um, and I may end up getting killed a little careful. Come on. A bit better than last time. This one not great. Right. Yeah, as I was just saying, so that crisp uh, sphere of crystal water is up there. You get as you get close to me, you normally know, get told to start collecting them. Gaining hear things singing as you get near them. Um do I want to I can hear something singing. It might be. There's something around here singing. I don't know what it is. It's only one of the slugs. Um, it might be underground though. There's caves underground. So what is this? This is an impure as well. Let's have a look to see what the other one is. It'll be there's another one quite close. But oh, there it is over there. What's this one? This, this one's a normal, so I will put a miner on this one because I get 60 per minute, which is what I need. And another miner on that one will give us 90 per minute, which means we'll be able to produce 100 limestone a minute. No, sorry, 6 from this one, 30 from that one. That will give us 90 limestone a minute, which gives us 30 concrete. And this here is uh, quartz. Again, you will need this. This is on the maps. You occasionally find random little nodes like this. They can be anywhere. Um, thing to do is to mine them if you not. Come this mineral them. shows purity levels akin to synthetic quartz manufactured on Earth and can be used to improve communication and exploration technologies. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. So I don't know if we can build the MAM yet. Let's have a look. Oh, production. Equipment bench, no. Biomass, no. No, no, no. No, it's walls, no. So we can't build the MAM yet. I think you've got to get um, past tier one. The MAM is just a research station. So rather than keep running backwards and forwards, I might just build a craft bench here. Okay, and a oh, it's a craft bench one. It is a it is a craft bench. We also need a workbench, a workshop. So I need to produce two of these. One, two. So then I can make miners if I've got all the material I need. Concrete amount of. Okay, and buy some concrete. There's some limestone, so I can quickly mine some. I will need 30 of this. craft some concrete. So why okay there we go. Just need to make sure it's um that's south that's east. Can I have it heading pointing south, directly south? No. What about east? 
just makes it easier for lining up on the um no it doesn't have to be an angle when you put the concrete down it just makes it easier for lining up on a concrete if it's uh, east west north or south okay that's that and then i need a, a constructor probably over here Should be able to now build a. Where is it? Oh no, I haven't got the split yet, have I? Okay, so let's just connect this into here. Pole. Can I get into there? Kind of a crouch. Power pole. Connect to that. Connect to that. And then I need to connect that back over here towards my base. But I'm gonna wire. Okay, let's go back a bit and grab some wire. Pick up some wire. Pick up some iron rods. <coughs> and pick up some iron sheets. I mean, you can see we're now building these, just I don't have to stop building them myself, so it's been manufactured for me now. Uh, don't need that on me. Don't need that on me. Don't need the quartz on me for the moment. Can't do anything with that. Um, let's just sort that out quickly. Can't do anything with a bit of wood for the moment. Or the leaves. Or the petals. That'll do. Right. Power. Let me run some power down to... Where was it? over there. So it's this way. Oh I still need to create some wire. It's the cabling, sorry. Should be enough. should also be able to create my so why can't I build an invalid placement why is an invalid placement what's in the way you Yeah. I still can't place it, why not? Cable, cable, okay. So let me build another pole here. So what 
blocking it now then? Um, I have no idea why I can't place that there. Invalid placement. It must be that rock outcrop. I can't see anything stopping it. No, I really can't see what's causing that as a uh, being in valid placement. Okay, well, we'll just stick with this one for the time being. Then. I want him to make concrete. It takes 45 minutes. Actually, this is where I can probably feed two from this because this one is 60 per minute. Yeah, so I'm actually pushing out more than that can handle. So I could do another constructor and a splitter once I get them set up. For now, we'll just leave that building. Um, making concrete. Come on, line up. Okay. That's really odd, that. I don't know why that won't let me build. One thing you can do later as well is um, I'm pick that up. Okay, so it pushes that. It is build like a zip line when or a power line thing that goes down a power line is like a zip line, so you can travel around from your power cables, which is quite nifty. We can also build travel tubes and vehicles and all kinds. Right, so let's just have a look. See what we need for next level. Logistics. So this is one I thought we had. Um, this, I thought we'd already got this but we don't we need to get this next. So this one is 300 wire, 150 iron plates, 150 iron bars. For select that the only thing I'm missing is the wire so I'm making wire. Uh, we're going where I am. Which way I'm going? This way. There we go, found a wire. So I now have everything for that one. And hit the big red button. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. So if you didn't hear my um, power network just went down because I've run out of biomass. Stick that in there, turn that on, and I'll make it. The other one's just supposed to say, I'm gonna make it run out on the other one, and it literally just went. Okay, let's just go grab some more vegetation. Once you get the chainsaw, it makes life a lot easier because you just take trees down. And you also get um, an even more condensed form of. Um, I'll take that. An even more condensed form of fuel, um, which lasts even longer. You turn the biomass into it, and it lasts even longer. Well, these are dark. I'm going to try and get them at 400. 
Let's look at. Oh, it's one of them earlier. Yeah. So you can see at the beginning you have these issues later on you get um, alternative power supplies like coal which is mined and then obviously because it's mined it's straight into power stations um, and oil refineries for oil power um, or what. and then nuclear later on. Just use up all this. Uh, split that in half, hundred and there. Let's stick that other hundred and there. And how are we doing on this one? Forty nine, I'll stick the hundred and eighty five in there, I'd leave it with some. Um, how are we doing power wise? Yeah, we're quite close to our limit. Right, there we go. You can go in there. I'm just waiting of our dropship coming back. Here it comes. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there for this session, um, hopefully that's been useful. We've cleared two of the tier 1 requirements, there's one left to do, and then we'll be moving on to tier 2. Um, please hit the like and subscribe. If you're enjoying this series, please consider giving me a, or subbing me a coffee. Um, any money, I say it's a coffee, but it's a coffee website. Any money received will be going towards the purchase of a better laptop, basically, better gaming laptop. Um, this one's getting a bit clunky. So, cheers guys, thanks so much, Strength Fly Gamer, out.